Why getting a 9 to 5 job is for losers. When we were young, we were told to go to school, study hard, graduate with excellent grades so that we can get good jobs in well-paying companies so that we will have enough money to live the lives of our dreams and still save enough to make us wealthy. Apparently, a good number of people grew up with that mentality and became stuck to a 9 to 5 job instead of creating new opportunities for themselves. While there might be absolutely nothing wrong with the job, the idea of remaining a 9 to 5 worker isn't one of the best. I mean, why spend so much time, 8 hours a day, 40 hours a week, working so hard for someone when you can create something beautiful for yourself as well? As a matter of fact, why does anyone have to work 8 hours a day? Well, here's how it all started. Initially, people worked 14 hours a day until a man named Robert Owens started a campaign during the Industrial Revolution. Owens bravely advocated the notion that people should not be working for more than 8 hours per day. Owens came up with the slogan, 8 hours of labor, 8 hours of recreation, 8 hours of rest. This was the beginning of something different, something better back then. Now, however, sticking to a 9-to-5 job might not seem to be the smartest choice anyone can make. And I'll tell you why. In this video, I'll share with you why getting a 9-to-5 job is for losers. This, I believe, will help you become a successful person. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Number 1. A 9-to-5 job ends up stealing your most valuable asset, your time. A 9-to-5 job leaves you praying from Monday to Friday for time to go by fast because you can't wait to enjoy the weekend since you do not get to go to work. Thank God it's Friday is usually the happiest moment of a 9-to-5 worker. You leave for the weekend because that's the only time you have to socialize and have fun with your family and friends. So life begins on Friday night and ends on Monday morning. What happens to the extra hours after work each day? You say, well, you spend a number of those hours stuck in traffic or you decide to sit back in the office a couple of hours more to buy some time for the traffic. Eventually, when you get home, you can only think about how much you dread a repeat of today tomorrow. Unfortunately, it has to happen. You have to go to work. See, everything finds a way to just waste your time. When all is said and done, years and decades go by without being able to find enough time for your family, kids, girlfriend, and your other interests. Number 2. A 9-to-5 job barely provides you with money-making skills. Money-making requires certain skills that no one is going to teach you unless you learn them yourself. Unfortunately, because you work a 9-to-5 job and are not directly responsible for making money for the organization, since it's a collective effort, you may never learn the skill. A 9-to-5 only helps you specialize in one skill, which on its own will not make you money. Which is why when a person loses his job, he becomes devastated because he knows that what he has learned on the job can't possibly make him money. So he's compelled to look for another job where he can convert his specialized skill into money. Number 3. A 9-to-5 job leaves you constantly worried about the possibilities of losing your job at any time. Because 9-to-5 workers know that they do not have the skills to make money, they are constantly bothered about what becomes of their lives should they lose their jobs. There's literally no assurance of the future. Also. A 9-to-5 worker is constantly worried about losing their jobs because of certain circumstances which may be beyond their control. For instance, a bad performance review, which is largely based on other people's opinion about your work, an economic recession, upsetting the wrong people, your skills going obsolete, your line of work getting abolished due to automation, and so on. This means that a 9-to-5 worker has to constantly work at pleasing his boss at work if he wants things to constantly go in his favor. Number 4. A 9-to-5 job hinders you from getting rich. 
A 9 to 5 worker often leaves from paycheck to paycheck. It's a law of economics that the entrepreneur gets all the profit and the worker gets survival wage. Even when you acquire degrees and skills to increase your salary beyond the survival wage, it barely gets you far enough. Remember, with more money comes more responsibilities. This means that when you eventually get a reward for your level of hard work in the company, more responsibilities will automatically take over the extra money you are making. Also, when you work a 9-to-5 job because you hardly make enough money to get you rich, retiring early can't be an option. As a matter of fact, a good number of people find out that they still have to work beyond the retirement age because they don't have enough money to sustain them afterwards. Number 5. A 9-to-5 job kills your creativity. To start with, your work is regimented, so there's little or no room for creativity. So you stick to the same old working method that everyone has been using. Also, you know that the chances of rewarding your hard work and creativity are slim. Perhaps you might be rewarded with a bonus or say a 5% increase in your salary. What's the point, right? Putting all that effort into your work only to be rewarded with a stipend. Perhaps you should remain like everyone else in that case. They are not bothered about making any difference as long as they get paid at the end of the month. They are totally fine with that. You see, sticking to a 9 to 5 job isn't one of the best ways to spend your life. If at the end of the day, the end product of your life is nothing any better than these five things. My friend, it is time to move on. Move out of your comfort zone and go for the things you really desire. Yes, it will be tough initially, but it will definitely be worth it. This doesn't mean that the job is entirely bad. Yes, a few people love their jobs and they are well rewarded for their labor. If you're among such people, then this video isn't for you. However, if you think this video is for you, then we encourage you to take charge of your life. You can start by going through some of the videos we have on this channel. They will give you inspiration and strategies to go about becoming a successful entrepreneur. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll like to give you another interesting video for you to enjoy next. But before then, our team will be very happy if you can like this video and share it with your friends on social media. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Look at your screen now to see two other videos we handpicked for you to enjoy next. We love you.